In this installment, we're going to take a look at power, whose definition in words is the rate of doing work or the rate of energy consumption. So simply put, we can define it as the amount of work divided by the amount of time. And work we know is measured in joules, and time is measured in seconds, so that's joules per second are the unit of power. We also define that to be one watt. One joule per second is one watt. So when we've come across watt in our life so far, we might think about light bulbs that have 60 watts or 40 watts or 100 watts. Well, that wattage is measuring the rate that the energy is being consumed by that, by that device. And so that's the power. It may also be the amount of work we do every second. I like to make the comparison of power to velocity. So whereas power is the rate of doing work, velocity is the rate of change of position. Energy is defined as the ability to do work or the product of the average force and the distance through which it's applied. Well, we can compare that to momentum. Momentum is the amount of inertia in motion. It's the product of mass times velocity. And so what we have in these two cases for momentum, it's an amount. For energy or work, it is an amount. And so the rate of change of work is a rate and the, the momentum divided by the time is also a rate, and that is defined as the force. So in that sense, whereas forces bring about rates and change of momentum, power, power brings about a, a rate of change in the energy consumption. Now let's take this a little further. If we know that, and we'll look at this both in terms of the formulas and in terms of the units, if power is work divided by time. Well, work, we know, is force times distance divided by time. And so power has units of joules per second, but then it also has units of newton meters per second. Well, let's wait a minute here. Distance divided by time is the velocity. So force times velocity. Aha, uh -huh. newton meters per second like so. So we actually have a four-way formula for the power. It's the average force times the distance, the average force times the velocity. It's also the work per unit time. We could take these units a little further. Newtons are Newtons, F equals ma, uh, so Newtons is a kilogram meter per second squared. So substituting in, we get kilogram meter per second squared times meters per second. And that then is units of kilogram meter squared per second cubed. <laughs> so oddly, we have units of power of joules per second, newton meters per second, and kilogram meter squared per second cubed. And we have four formulas per power for power the rate of doing work. And just like power is a, is a rate, velocity is a rate, force is a rate. In our next installment, we are going to look at a number of different power time graphs in installment 4.5.